When you've located a question you want to use in the PDF, um, the first thing to do is to make sure that the size is big enough so that you can see it and work with it. So we're going to increase the size slightly and then we're going to select the text for the question, copy it, go to our Microsoft Word document, uh, type in question 1 and we're going to make the question with heading style 1 and then we paste it in. Then we go back to our PDF and we want to copy the diagram next so I'm going to go to insert and this time I'm going to use the screen clipping tool that's built into Word but you could use other systems as well and we copy it and it appears in the text in our Word file. And then we want to copy the rest of the question, so back to the PDF, select the text, copy over to your Word file, paste. So I'll get rid of this and I'll maximise the Word screen and then we can see a bit better what we're doing. So that's us with the text as text, the image as an image and the rest of the question. Um, and the great thing about using doing it that way is that you can now go to Immersive Reader and you can change the size of the text easily um, but more importantly you can use Read Aloud to read it out. National 5 Assessment Question 1 The diagram below shows a sector of a circle, center C. The radius of the circle is 30 centimeters. Calculate the length of the major arc AB. Take 3 times 14. Now one of the problems we've got with this of course is that pi and the number there is not read out correctly. So it would be quite good if we could fix that. So I'll show you how we can. Um, so first thing I'll do is delete the expression that doesn't work very well. Um, I'll make that plain text while I'm at it. And if you insert the pi symbol, I found it doesn't work with Immersive Reader, so we want to insert an equation. So we go to Insert, Equation, Insert a new equation. And it needs to be pi, so we're going to look up here in the toolbar and try and find pi. equals 3.14 and then if we go back to our immersive reader let's see if it works take pi equals 3.14 now the next thing that we want to do is create a, an alternative text description for the image um, this image here if I was reading it using a computer screen reader or an electronic braille display um, it would be completely ignored uh, because it's just an image. So we need to add some alternative text to it and to do that you right click and edit alt text. Now the Word, Microsoft Word automatically generates a description but it's not very helpful, it just says diagram. So we want to replace that with something that's a bit more meaningful. And that's basically it. So now when a screen reader comes across this diagram, it will read out that alternative text description. And that's really all there is to it. It takes longer to copy the text and the image separately, but the end result is accessible for learners who require a text reader um, or who simply want to make the, uh, the text bigger um, or to use any of these other tools that are provided, these accessibility tools that are provided within Immersive Reader or other programs. So this is not only good practice, it's a legal obligation that's on us to make our assessments accessible for learners with disabilities or additional support needs.